Hey there, everyone. Squeaks was just telling me about the big trip he's planning with Jesse. It'll be his first time flying on an airplane. He's pretty nervous. It's natural to be anxious before a big event, but we've been helping Squeaks find ways to feel less scared. I think it's great that you're learning all about how planes and flying work to help you feel less nervous about your first plane ride. But there are a lot more things on planet Earth that fly than just airplanes. Can you think of some? Huh, Sam the Bat? Dino? Bill and Webb? We do actually have a lot of friends with wings, don't we? Different kinds of animals like bugs, birds, and bats all have wings. And have you ever watched all those different kinds of animals fly? They all look a little different when they fly, don't they? Let's check out some of the different ways animals use flight to get their bodies from one place to another. This is a really big bird called an albatross. They spend a lot of time soaring above the ocean. What do you notice about its wings, Squeaks? I think they look very long and skinny a little like airplane wings, don't you think? Those big wings help them fly long distances to find the food they need. A little bit like the jet plane you're gonna fly on, these birds use their wings to move their bodies long distances. They travel a long way and for a long time because they're looking for food. Their favorite foods, like squid and animals called krill, might be far apart on the surface of the ocean. So the albatross has to move its body a long way to find the best food. In fact, one kind of albatross can fly around the whole world in just six weeks. What other kinds of flying things can you think of? Oh, yes, <laughs> great idea. Bees have wings too although they're very different from an albatross's wings. What do you notice about the shape or structure of a bee's wings? Yes, the wings of a bee are more short and stubby. And let's watch it fly. The albatross flies a long way while the bee makes lots of stops, jumping from flower to flower. The pollen and nectar in the flower are the bee's main food, and it has to visit lots of flowers. So rather than traveling a long way, it might visit many flowers that are close together. If the albatross flies a long way, like a jumbo jet, the bee is like a city bus, making lots of stops. They have to move their bodies in different ways to get food, so they have different kinds of wings to help them do that. And what about penguins? Penguin squeaks. Have you ever seen one fly? <laughs> I haven't either, but they are a bird and they do have wings. They just don't use their wings to fly in the air. Penguins use their wings to move themselves through the water. Scientists think it's a lot like other birds flying through the air since the penguins use their wings in a similar way. Let's look at a penguin's wings. See how their wings are flat, almost like the paddle of a boat? That shape or structure is good at moving the penguin through the water. It flaps its wings to swim, and that moves the penguin through the water, just like other birds flap their wings to move through the air. Why do you think penguins need to fly in the water instead of air, Squeaks? Yes, the penguin's food is fish, so the penguins have to move their bodies underwater to catch their food. Wow, Squeaks. There sure are a lot of different creatures that use their wings to move their bodies where they need to go, aren't there? It's pretty amazing to think of all the different animals that rely on flying to get them where they need to be and the different ways they move their bodies from one place to another using flight, even underwater in some cases. What types of animals can you think of that use flight to get them from place to place? What other types of wings can you think of? How do those wings help the animal get what it needs from its environment? Thanks for joining us today. If you wanna keep learning and having fun with Squeaks, me, Jesse, and all our other friends, be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time here on SciShow Kids.